Welcome to the presentation of the semester project group led by Marcus Wintersberger. We are Felix Petzenbickler, Ferdinand Gluck, Stephanie Hummer, Christoph Kiermeyer and Valentina Peckler. In the next 15 minutes, we would like to give insights in our work of the last few weeks and what we aim to reach in the upcoming months. The thematic context of our work is the media technology experiment and was compiled under the title, Projection Mapping. Based on that, we were free to go in the conceptual design and choice of methods and could define our work completely on our own. After many discussions and meetings, a plan was developed to construct a large-scale interactive media installation which meets all requirements to be presented at the Soundframe Festival in April 2015. Our work is named, called, and here is our vision. The plan is to design an interactive and reactive multimedia room-in-room -room construction. A total area of approximately 16 square meters will be constructed as an accessible room, which is modulated in a panoramic 360-degree view. It's an art exhibit on cultural events, a playground for performers and live acts, a presentation medium that carries a message through several perceptive channels and a prototype for subsequent technical media research. The room will be a pentagonal space, about 5 meters wide, and is formed by a circular arrangement of five rear projection screens. Between the screens, 1.20 meters wide passages are provided, so that the visitor can enter and leave the installation at any time. Each surface will be motorized and gives us the ability to adjust the screens in height individually. Thus they can be rolled up and let down entirely or hang on a certain level. The essential part of our installation is located in the center of the area. A collection of five pillars, approximately seven centimeters thick, makes it possible towards visitors to interact with the whole exhibition object. Each of these pillars can be controlled by a single person in front of it, through motion and gesture detection, using parameters such as altitude and proximity of the user's hands in relation to the interface. Bright white light within the pillars provides visual feedback. It moves in its vertical position due to the height of the gesturing hands and shines brighter when the user draws nearer. With the help of infrared sensors we also want to track the position of the user within the room. This is important, as we aim to close the surface behind the person in the moment that he enters the installation and starts to interact with one of the pillars. While the screen is slowly lowered, beamers begin simultaneously to map the visible part of the surface, giving the impression of a projection drawing into the exhibition space. Therefore the whole object will be closed, when five people are inside the circle, and as we make use of rear projection screens, all actions performed inside the room can be seen by other visitors from the outside. The overall idea is to give a total number of five visitors the power to influence the audiovisual output that is heard and seen. As there is space for five people controlling the installation, it is important to note that each combination of the five surfaces and pillars is designed to be controlled by a single person. The goal is to intensify the experience a single user can have individually through this interaction, 
with every person that enters the room and participates in this collective manipulation of the content. Talking about the content, we now should focus the thematic concept of the entire installation. We chose cult as the name of the installation because we want to explore how a cult or ritual emerges. Our setup unites various mechanisms, properties and typical objects of these processes and translates those in our present time. A number of various independent persons group around an object in the middle and participate in collective interaction. Each one entering the setup generates an individual set of audiovisual material, which breaks on that person when the screen behind is lowered entirely. In this way, we want to represent our current everyday media, with which we are constantly confronted. By the coincidence of independent individuals for the duration of their performance, something new evolves, which especially persons that are not involved can barely comprehend. The gesture controlled modulation inside converts the stressful, hectic media flooding step by step in a harmonious audiovisual experience. By our work we furthermore want to find out how media reception can be bound stronger to the individual interaction of the viewer. Due to the rise of touch sensitive devices and flexible display technologies, research of multimedia, gesture controlled interaction is an important discipline to follow. Pursuing this approach, we involve the viewer of the installation and create a platform to explore various multisensory possibilities and limitations. The installation is a prototype of a medium, through which exhibitors, performers, companies and institutions can move their messages into the proverbial center of attention. We explore the possibilities of individual and collective interaction of people with audiovisual content. You can imagine that it took some time to express our plans as precisely as possible and to describe what we actually have done over the past few weeks. In the feedback session afterwards we naturally aim to review whether this has worked out or not. We now would like to give an overview of our previous work and to describe the structure of the team. The entire group, both students and lecturers, covers a wide range of expertise that led to the approach to implement an interdisciplinary project. Especially the fact that we consist both of interactive and audiovisual students made it possible for us to cover a range of different disciplines. Therefore, our scope extends the areas of sound modulation, video art, interaction design, projection technology, photography, sensoric systems, electronics and programming. Our interests are supported by professional teaching staff behind us and we can always fall back on wide know-how. In addition to the well-known teaching staff Marcus Wintersberger, Thomas Wagensumrer and Christian Monk, we also get support by the curator of the Sound Frame Festival Eva Fisher and the entire team of Media Apparat, a visual art and design collective from Vienna. In addition to lessons we have at the university and the offices of each lecturer, we meet up twice a week and discuss upcoming steps of our project. Between those meetings, all members fulfill their tasks self-organized and carry these out either alone or with others. We organize us via the classic tools Facebook, email and mobile phone and run our file exchange with the help of Google Drive. During our meetings we focus strongly on always having every sketch or idea down on paper and as well documented as possible. In our view, it would be very unsatisfactory if we delivered a good job at the end of the semester but could not reproduce which steps we made to reach this goal. For this reason, at almost every meeting we create posters with the next to DOS, sketch setups, collect videos that inspire us and thus carry our entire input and output together. Currently we blog the operations under the name Kaltai Media on Tumblr, a more advanced and better named website about us and the project is being planned. Mainly due to the fact that we started with nothing but a rough thematic framework, it is important for us, 
always to be able to understand how the whole project has developed. Our communication is pretty straight and critical in constructive manner. If one does not agree with certain things, she or he is not afraid to give a valuable input and everybody takes suggestions gladly. In the design of the installation, we work together closely and generate ideas in the exchange with each other. Apart from all work being done in the collective, everybody has her or his own area of expertise that we now want to present in alphabetical order. Felix Betson Bickler is our audiovisual guy with emphasis in experimental media. His strength in the group is camera technology and video post-production. During the upcoming months he aims to create a comprehensive documentary film about the development of our project. Ferdinand Gluck studies interactive and experimental media. He is a VJ and competent in sound controlled visuals, projection technology and the corresponding software. He always knows something to say about the technical feasibility of any vision. Stephanie Hummer studies interactive media with a focus on photography. She makes sketches, graphics and designs for presentation purposes and has a good creative instinct. They also document the work through photographs. Christoph Kiermeyer studies interactive and experimental media. His responsibilities include the programming of control systems, sound design, texting and the production of grant applications. Valentina Pegler studies interactive media and mobile development. In addition to web programming she sits down heavily with interactive sensory programming of these and functional design of interaction. We now follow up with the reflection of our work so far, an outlook on next steps and the discussion of open issues. In general, it should be noted that our team is working very well so far and we are happy about the current project status. It has been a great challenge to find a technical setup and a conceptual orientation in which we all feel comfortable. We are very pleased that we exactly learned these things in the upcoming months with which we wanted to deal with for a long time. In addition to the completed and satisfactory conception, a major milestone so far has been the shipping of two grant applications. In addition to the submission for the scholarship at the university, we presented our work at the Austria Wirtschaft Service in collaboration with Media Parat and aimed to be sponsored with a total amount of 3,600 euros. Two other sponsorship applications are currently in the making. At the same time, these grant applications are also very critical success factors. All in all we reached an amount of 9,000 euros that this installation will cost. It is important for us to know the possible funding of the applications that we already submitted to reduce our setup if necessary. Within the next weeks we will as well prototype the engine of the rear projection screens as we still have not figured out how we exactly will play out the motorization. Another important topic to be researched is the construction of the whole installation, especially due to safety reasons and requirements in an exhibition context. The challenge with the construction of this magnitude is to find the fine line between safety, practical flexibility, and cost efficiency. In the course of the upcoming months we especially look forward to the game with the technology and to figure out its limits. We will start with the implementation of the interaction with the pillows, and a prototype of the audiovisual modulation. At least one of the five elements then should be ready by January to be presented to an audience. In this way, we want to evaluate strengths and weaknesses of the installation in order to optimize it, focusing the goal to have it all presented in whole at the Sound Frame Festival and possibly other opportunities. Generally, we want the project to be completed by the end of March in order to exploit the installation well in terms of our own portfolio and further submissions. <laughs>